So uh, before there, I, I talked about how I don't see Arizona State being in the Big 12 And I'm long still a little term. in shock at that statement. I, look, dude, I feel like if you look at – and maybe, maybe this is a situation where – uh, the people at the top get the ax for how they navigated this whole situation and kind of um, had ASU kind of drug across the finish line, per se. But I, right now, dude, like we like we talked about in the first segment, Arizona State wants no part of the Big 12. I, I think maybe some people do. I think Kenny Dillingham, the football program, they understand the importance of it and what it can do for their school. But I just feel like at the top – and the people behind the scenes, they want no part of it. They think they're better, um, and we've seen that in the past. I feel like the landscape of college athletics is changing dramatically. Uh, you're seeing more and more people come out. There was a quote from Rick Patino out today talking about what are we doing. Uh, Eli Drinkowitz, the head coach at Missouri, has come out. Dion, I just feel like right now people understand that this is all a money grab. Like It's, it's just getting out of hand. It's um, the TV networks control everything, but I feel like we're getting to a point where you are going to see massive conferences, maybe not necessarily like a, the NFC, AFC, just big 10, big SEC, but there's going to be a point where when the new TV deals come up, I feel like if Arizona state could figure out a way, like, I don't know if this is necessarily the end of the PAC 12. I feel like they could find a way to go back out there and maybe you get some of these, maybe the Big Ten says, Fox comes to the Big Ten and says, you know what, we're not getting the numbers we like on Minnesota versus, you know, whoever. Like, do you, is there no way you see Arizona State leaving in another Pac-12, like, come from the Phoenix, like yeah. the dust of a Phoenix? My My number one problem with this idea is not that I don't think, like, there will be more movement. There will be more attempts at consolidation. There will be attempts at a Super League. I'm just looking at the schools that I think would be cut out of the Big Ten, the Big, the SEC, possibly, possibly, though very unlike, very, un, I'm not even going to include them. No, Big 12's not getting brought into that. Um, but the schools that I see getting cut from the Big Ten and the SEC to get down to like a 32, maybe, mm -hmm. if we're looking at like the NFL. Right. So... You're looking at, like, what? Northwestern, Purdue, Indiana. Yeah, you like, would have teams like that, and then, like, you're, okay. But you're not you're not cutting the Pacific Northwest teams. You're not cutting the L.A. teams. No, they're going to stay. They're too big of brands to st – so, so then, you look at – there is no one, no one geographically close to Arizona State in the, in the SEC. No one. No, not at all. But I don't think – Who are I don't they think going to join up I don't with? think geography matters anymore. I think they want to be with – they would rather – I don't want to go to Morgantown. I know. I think they would I rather play against those like, assholes. I know, but I think they would rather find a way to where they could play against like a North Carolina or they could, they could find – I just feel like there's going to be – once the ACC hits the fan, and I don't think this lasts into 2036. The money I, will be too important to the equation at that point because you're not going to make amazing money. You're not going to make the top-tier money – which means in order to compete with whoever you, you're actually on the same tier of, you can't be running around playing Northwestern, uh, North Carolina, or whoever else you're like, oh, we academically align with them. Like, at that point, I, I make academic alignments and then play whoever the hell is near you. Play whoever the hell is near you. Stop well, they, caring they had about that. sports. They did have that. They had it both, and then the Big Ten went and took the biggest brands that floated the whole athletic conference financially. If if air, all right. Let's say if within the, the next, Big Twelve is too geographically good for Arizona State because they're not going to get something better at the same level of money. But I, yeah, not. I know that. I know and that. Even when schools get dropped from the major conferences and or and for consolidation. What's it's the money going to? The well, balance between geography and money is still not going to get any better. We don't know that though, because no. once all of these deals are up in 2031, and it's going to be clean from scratch, except for the ACC, which I think will they'll find a way to USC's get out of money that. By is then. Great. UCLA will also bring good money. Oregon, Washington, boom, all four of them geographically close enough that they were happy, ideologically close enough that Arizona State was happy. Those four are not getting kicked out of the Big Ten. 
Okay, but if you're Washington and you do this little trial thing, you're Oregon or Washington, or hell, UCLA for that matter, and you do this little – well, I guess UCLA kind of really doesn't matter they don't give a damn about football. <laughs> um, so, but if you go this little trial run through 2031, you get left out of the playoff for most part of it. And you can find a way to get close a gap on money, but figure out a way. You don't think you would consider maybe going back and getting regionally located after 2031? Like I, I just I feel the like there's going to be is not gonna close. I feel like there's going to be a separation. I feel like you're going to have a top tier of football, and you're going to have a second tier. You're going to have your main blue bloods playing each other, and you're going to have a second group of if the power Big Twelve five is teams. included in the top tier, you're already in the Big Twelve. Why would you leave? If the Big Twelve is not included in the top tier, you're already in the best conference, not in the top tier. Why would you leave? Well, I think that depends on winning. It, I think winning cures off. If Arizona State finds a way to kind of run things, they wouldn't. But I feel like right now they're if, they're trying to figure out a way for to get the hell out. If the Big Twelve is in the top tier. The money will keep you in, even if you're losing. If the Big 12 is in the second tier, they're going to run the second tier and therefore get the most money in the second tier. But we don't know what the money would look like. I, I just I, There's so many the things money, out there. The money's going to look like probably, in my mind, 15 to $20 million per year for the Big 12, $5 million if you're not in the Big 12, because the Big 12 will run the second tier. They should, but... That's not guaranteed. We'd see. Because the other option, the other big money option in that second tier, if it's just the Big Ten, the SEC, is going to be the ACC. But and it's the not going to be. I'm not. When, it, I don't think it would be just the Big Ten. The SEC. I think it's going to be like a handful of schools from the Big Ten, a handful of schools from the SEC. Yes, and the remnants will form their own conferences with the remnants of the ACC. And I don't think the Big Twelve is necessarily guaranteed to run that. I hell no. I in don't football. Yes. I, I, I don't know what to tell you on that. Like, <laughs> I honestly, mean, we'd have to on, see on, it. No, on, honestly. We would have honestly, to see. You honestly think that the schools that already run the ACC who will not be in the leftovers of the ACC, uh, along with the leftovers of the Big Ten and the SEC, the Vanderbilts. Well, I guess it depends on who Indianas, we're talking about. You're talking about like, or you're talking the about like schools that misses? will get dropped from the Super League. They are not going to start beating the Big no, 12. No, but it would be on the same par. It would be no, the same. No, they won't. Yes, it would. That's laughable. No. That is laughable. Some of them, some of them, they Bull would be on the same par. Shit, Gary, no, that is laughable. No, no they would, some no. of them would be on the same par. No, you do not believe this. Yes, I do. There's no way you believe this. I think some of them would be on the same par. Name one that is on Baylor's level right now. Ole Miss. One. Ole Miss isn't getting dropped. They might. If it's if it's how a super, Ole Miss getting if you're dropped? taking Alabama, LSU, Georgia, State might get dropped. I think Ole would, Miss is too good of a brand to get dropped. Are they over Texas though, brand wise? We don't know the you, numbers. You, 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 you just went from like <laughs> the top of the middle of the SEC to the like what third biggest brand in the conference. Ole Miss is not a third That's biggest Apple's brand. No, Texas is. Oh well, yeah. How did you think I was saying Texas was the top of the middle and Ole Miss was the brand? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're about to have a panic attack over <laughs> Like, Gary, I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, the schools that will get cut for the Super League just are not Would, okay, on the well, level here's of the, the thing. best Big 12 schools. Well, any of the big t- – here's okay, say this happens. Who are the Big 12 teams that would be – would any of the Big 12 teams be invited – to, into like to the, the, the new super shit, unless someone goes on a five year dominant run out of the Big Twelve, no. Like I do not see the Big Twelve being poached for this super conference. And that's probably the best set for them. That's probably the best thing for them at the end of the day. Yeah, no, it's great. Which is also why I'm so certain in what <laughs> I'm saying right now. I mean, like, man, let let me just pull up the SEC standings and and we'll go through. We will go through the SEC schools. You tell me who you think is going to get cut. Cut. Arkansas is getting cut. Arkansas is getting cut. I think I, Kentucky's okay, I wanna... getting cut. Mississippi State's getting cut. Missouri's getting cut. Okay, okay. So the ones we definitely both agree on, Vandy, Mizzou. Um, I'll go with Mississippi State. So that gets us down to what we're at 13 now mm. out of the 16. 
How many, how many more need to be cut to get to 32 in the Super League? That's the thing. Like, I, I don't. I think you're. I think you're thinking there are way more cuts than there actually are. Maybe I am. And so now, if I'm looking, if those are the first three cuts, South Bandy, Carolina, Missouri, Mississippi Ooh. State. If, if those are the first four, we include South Carolina just just for the sake of including a fourth. If those are your first four cuts. Yeah. No, you're right. You are right on that one. None of those schools are like, yep, they should instantly be at the top. South Carolina is looking solid. Mississippi State's looking solid. Like they could compete for it. Yeah. No, you're, no, you are right. You're all right on that one. And I'll then give we you get that to one. the Big Ten cuts. Ooh. All right. Big Ten cuts would be Rutgers. Yeah. Hell yeah. They gone. Maryland. They gone. Northwestern. Gone. Purdue gone. Uh, Indiana first. <laughs> That's some bias <laughs> there, dog. Bias. Purdue's been clearly better at football. No, I know. I was giving that. Uh, yeah, but like you, you, start, you, start, yeah. you start seeing what I'm saying. But I think it would be fun as hell, honestly, if you split it up like that. It would be. Look, it would be very interested to see what like what the ACC leftovers are and how that amalgamates into a conference. But again, I'm left here saying there is nowhere better for Arizona State to go. There might not be, but I just feel like there's a point where. We see it all the time where what's best might not align with the people in charge. And then at the end of the day, what happens? And I feel like Arizona State's on the fringe of trying to find a way. Maybe they're just, maybe it's one of those things that will get better over time. You're just butt hurt right now at the top. And if you cut like winning success cures all. So maybe that's what yeah. it is. I just feel like they if they see an opportunity to exit. In any fashion, right now, they would. That's where I'm at with that. They wouldn't, And have. it wouldn't benefit them. I think it would be to their detriment, but... Well, then they wouldn't have come. I know. They didn't want to, though. That was the thing. And, it, it, you know, it sucks, but... Like, you have to want to come on some level to come. Even if it's just for the money. That's what she said. I was really hoping you wouldn't. I can't I blame you that you did, but I was really hoping you wouldn't. But yeah, so I there's plenty more to talk about here. We've spent Go. this whole time talking about this, but it's been a fun one. Let's let's tackle the next thing with the Big Twelve. Let's stay on that because we okay. might we might push the ACC and college football playoff stuff okay. to another episode. Um, the Big Twelve, the Big Eighteen. <laughs>